So in this next video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own OpenAI ChatGPT chatbot on your own pages, for example, in a WordPress website by installing a plugin for the headers and footers, which you only need the footer section of, and you need a Utopia API key, which is active. So this is a paid option and you need your OpenAI key, of course. So let's get started. First of all, we go to the live chat widget page, which is inside your dashboard. And you can see these options right here. If you have uploaded any documents, you can select them right here. For example, if you have certain pages on your website that are catered to a specific niche or section or whatever, uh, recipes or drinks or just general questions you can select these here if you have specified those as well you can also select the no document feature which will just answer questions like the generic chat gpt does if you have selected this you can copy this snippet right here but before we do this let's go to the global settings so you can create some specifics for your live chat widget. You can click on this section right here. And we are going to show you how to do it in a demo WordPress installation, which is called Espresso Shop. So we have just called it Espresso Shop Chat. And how can I help you today is the first message that will pop up when people open up the chat icon. Your OpenAI key, you can put that here if you have never done it before. As you can see, I have, so it will say that it's already there. And you have to whitelist your domain. I will just delete it right now so I can show you what happens if I don't. And I will also change this color to some weird color so you can see that it changes immediately once we make these changes later on. So now that I've made these small changes, I will go back to my live chat widget. I will choose to not use any document at all. I will click this link right here and copy it. And now I will go to my WordPress installation which is right here. If you do not have a plugin or any other feature included in your WordPress installation, maybe it is already implemented in your default theme that you use. And if it is not, you can download a new plugin. I will show you how you can do that. Just go to plugins, add new, and here in this search, field you can click footer click enter and then you will get a list of all these plugins that are helpful if you want to add headers and or footers to your web website as you can see here this one is active which means that's the one that i chose i go based on the amount of installs this has 400,000 plus active installations which to me means it is not a bad plugin. And based on the amount of five star reviews, it is actually a pretty good one. So just click install now where it says active on my end. And once you have done that, you can activate it. And by then you will see it here in the menu on the left hand side. You can click add new snippet and if you click that, you get this option to enter some information. So for example, snippet name, let's say Espresso Shop. Chat, it's an HTML snippet. I want to use it everywhere. I don't want to exclude pages. I don't want to exclude posts. I want to put it in the footer. 
want to show it on all devices and the status is active and now I just control or command V the snippet that I just copied from Futopia click save and now when I go to the web page here as you can see right now there is no live chat widget and if I refresh this page you will see here is my widget one other thing you can see is that there's already a saved chat in here that's because I tested it earlier of course and I did remove the espresso shop from my whitelist so I will show you what happens if I ask a question now tell me the most favorite kind of coffee and it will tell me right now that I'm not authorized to make chat requests which is correct because I have not yet whitelisted espresso shop as one of the websites that can actually use this live chat so let's go back to Futopia and change this ugly purple-ish, pink-ish, whatever color and whitelist this domain so we can actually start asking questions. So here we are back in the Futopia environment. I will go back to my global settings and select the live chat widget settings. Let's change this color first to some nice coffee like color I don't know let's see where is a brownish this looks better and then of course I have to whitelist the espresso shop save settings and if I go back to this page right now refresh And as you can see, the color has not changed into a more espresso shop color, espresso coffee color. And if I ask another question again, let's say, what coffee do you recommend in the morning? And this is not correct because I did authorize it. So let's just see if I, ah, I made a typo. As you can see, it says Espresso Shop instead of Espresso Shop. So Espresso Shop, this is more like it. Save settings, go back. I don't wanna type this question again, so I will quickly copy it. Refresh the page and now I will try again. And as you can see, it is already getting the information. Okay, well, yeah, this is a good answer to the question. If you don't want to have it answer in this fashion, like uh, as an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences. You can, of course, give it instructions here in your prompt settings to tell the assistant what its name is and what it has to answer in certain situations. Answer as if it was a barista and all kinds of creative things like that. So this is actually how easy it is. This movie took about 10 minutes, but you can of course do this in a matter of, well, I think between two to five minutes and you should be able to get this working live chat widget on your website. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, of course, please let me know.